everyone, this is Priyanshu Chaudhary for Semi Futures and here are the top stories from this week. Billionaire Gautam Matani, along with two union ministers and Maharashtra's deputy chief minister, celebrated India's allegedly surpassing $4 trillion mark on Sunday, though there was no official confirmation of the achievement. According to a reliable source, the circulating news is inaccurate and India has not yet reached that significant milestone. A screenshot from the live GDP tracking feed utilizing International Monetary Fund data for all the countries has been extensively circulated on social media. This includes posts by several individuals, including senior BJP leaders, but its authenticity remains unverified. In October, the inflation rate for agricultural laborers and rural workers slightly rose up to 7.08 and 6.92% respectively. This uptick was attributed to elevated prices of specific food items. The uptick in the general index for agricultural and rural laborers was fueled by the food group adding 13.20 and 12.48 points respectively. This rise was primarily due to the increased prices of essential items like rice, wheat, pulses, vegetables, mixed spices, etc. For rural laborers, there was a rise of 1 to 10 points in 5 states, 11 to 20 points in 13 states and an increase exceeding to 20 points in 2 states. The gold prices hit a 3-week high as investors turn to the precious metals, anticipating that the US Federal Reserve will not increase the interest rates. As a result, the dollar and US bond yield have stayed low. Wednesday saw gold priced at $2,038 per ounce in the international market, with US coal futures holding steady at $2,002.40. Gold is favored in the macroeconomic landscape as decreasing US inflation signals a possible end to the interest rate hiking cycle. ANZ analysts highlight that the drop in US yields and the dollar is boosting gold's investment appeal. The current recovery rate from personal guarantors under Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code IBC is 5.22%. Care Edge ratings expect a boost post Supreme Court validation of IBC for personal guarantors' insolvency resolution. The ruling dismissed over 200 petitions challenging the legal validity of these provisions. Following IBC implementation, India's overall recovery rate reached 32.9% by quarter 4 for year 2022. In quarter 2 for year 2024, the recovery rate stood at 33.01%, contributing to the cumulative recovery rate of 31.85% till quarter 2 for year 2024. These were the top stories from this week. Keep tuned in to SME Futures every Friday for more such updates.